Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 3. Today we are in the 45th episode of this series and we have Prarthana here with us who has been recently placed at ZS Associates as a part of her campus placements at VIT. She is here to share her interview experience with us but before we talk to her let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all students belonging to the circuit branches were eligible provided they had a 70% or, or a 7 CGPA in their 10th, 12th as well as in their pursuing degree. Now let's go ahead and talk to Prarthana and understand how her experience was interviewing with this company. Welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Thank you. Yeah. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me here. Uh, hello everyone. I'm Prarthana Prasanna Kumar. I'm a final year student pursuing my uh, B.Tech in Electronics and Communication Engineering from VIT Chennai. I'm based out of Bangalore. Okay. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, you can now tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Yeah, so uh, ZS Associates is a global management consulting company and a technological firm as well, where their major focus is on transforming the global healthcare systems around the globe. So they came to a campus around uh, the beginning of October and they offered two roles. Uh, one was Business Technology Solution Associate, BTSA. Uh, that is a role which I applied for, where all the only the circuit branches were eligible to apply. And the second role was a Decision Analytics Associate, DAA role, where all BTECs were eligible to apply. Okay. So the entire recruitment process were divided into two phases. And so the first phase, it consisted of online MCQ round where it was, uh, it consisted of aptitude questions, guesstimates, and logical reasoning questions. The level was medium and around 3000 students uh, applied for the company and all were eligible to write, write this test. And uh, the next step of the, uh, the phase uh, one was the communication assessment. So uh, they mentioned in the pre-placement talk that all the rounds were eliminatory. So for the next round, only 150 students were shortlisted. So this uh, communication round, uh, it had four, section, uh, four sections, like listening, speaking, writing, etc. It was easy to moderate level. So this was the end of the phase one recruitment process. The second phase, it, uh, again, it had two rounds of interview again. So around 60 students cleared the communication round uh, from both the roles combined and the technical assessments were done for both the roles. So my technical assessment, uh, it had three sections. So the first section, it had 10 MCQs based on SQL and one programming question was there, either Java or Python was the language which was used. And the last section had, uh, it was query writing. So uh, after this round one, after this round, the results were given immediately within an hour almost and 17 people were shortlisted for my role and uh, the interview slots were given by the company and my interview was for around 30 minutes. The interviewer was very friendly and uh, he quizzed me about my SQL knowledge and he asked me some questions about my res on my resume and my internship where I did my internship. He asked me to explain one of my projects as well. And then he asked few HR questions also. Uh, he asked why would I like to work at ZS Associates and what would I contribute for them. So after uh, three days, uh, the results were announced and uh, totally 11 students combined from both the roles were selected and I was lucky to be one of them. Okay, that's great. Congratulations again. Thank and you. thank you so much for sharing your experience. And do you have any suggestions that you'd like to share or anything that you learned from your experience? Yeah, I learned a lot uh, by giving all these interviews during this place, my placement season. So I feel that any person giving any interview should answer directly to the point, whatever the interview asks for. Hmm. And it is important for anyone, you know, to be thorough, to read the job description and should have a prior knowledge of what role they're applying for right. and prepare accordingly to hmm. it. Hmm. So, and most importantly is the other factor is the resume. Your resume should be very strong and you should know it to a T. Hmm. And you should be very confident while answering. The interviewer might twist the question, but end of the day, you should answer it confidently and make sure that you have a very good impression on them. Right. So, yeah. And you should be thorough with the basics. 
this is what I learned from doing. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much for sharing your experience and for the suggestions. I'm sure it's going to help many people. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching and please do like, share and subscribe if you did find find this video helpful. And yes, thank you for watching.